Okay, let's see. Average of 12. It's got this. This is the this is our resistance, right? This is the current. So I think we're going to use ultimately power is I squared R for the electrical power, right? We're also going to use power is work divided by time. And then I'm going to say that the work is equal to the kinetic energy that the card gains, which is going to be one half mv squared. So what order do we do this in? Let's see, after 10 seconds. Okay, okay. I feel like we're going to actually just do them in this order. So we're going to figure out the electrical power. Then we'll figure out the total work done, right? Because we know power and time, <laughs> right? And then with the work, we'll figure out the change in velocity. I feel like that's what we're going to do. But I reserve the right to change my mind about that. Okay, so let's see. Power is I squared R, so it's 12.5 uh, amps squared times 0 0.961. That's 150.156 watts. And then the thing's going to run for 10 seconds, right? So uh, 150.156 is my power, right? That equals the work I do over 10 seconds. So my work is just 10 times the number that's on my calculator. So times 10 is 1501.5625 jowls of work, right? Okay, so let's see. I kind of like these problems. Okay, so that's the work we do. So then the question is, what? What? Uh, if that's the total kinetic energy. What's the velocity? One five zero one point five six two five equals one half seventy eight kilograms is my right times uh, v squared. So times two divided by seventy eight. That's v squared raised to the point five six point two zero. meters per second. Baby, I feel like I've done something. <laughs>